I noticed a glimpse of a little boy with a violin in news footage of the mass exodus of people before the final battles of the civil war in Sri Lanka. It was May 2009 and the Tamil civilian population of the north of the island had been kept as human shields by the Tamil Tigers. Under fire from both sides, around 200,000 displaced Tamils walked through coastal lagoons, carrying what was most precious to them. My search for the boy with the violin began in the north of the north of the country. All along the A9 highway, there are monuments to the devastation of the continuous war of three decades. Hardly a house is left standing. Now, two years later, Civilians have returned to their ruined homes and started to rebuild. Churches and Hindu temples were also destroyed in the war. Many of them are now being restored. I showed pictures of the boy to people I met. I headed to Jatna when someone told they recognize a well-known Jatna musician. The promise of a new dawn of peace is side by side with the promise of a prosperous future. The war was fought without witnesses. Foreign media were not allowed to be there and the only source of news came from the state-owned media. Access for the media is still tightly controlled in the former war zone. The north of the island is still highly militarized by government groups. There are frequent military checkpoints and barriers along the road. There are still areas that the government says it's not safe to visit as landmine clearing has not been completed. The military not only keep a tight rein on security, they also run roadside cafes and shops for incoming visitors from the south who haven't had the opportunity to go to the north of their country for three decades of civil war. During my search for the boy with the violin, I came across other Tamil musicians who managed to save at least one of their instruments from the chaos and destruction of the world. Singer Parati Sivapatham showed us the Shruti box she brought through the slaughter. Navani the Raja had all his instruments shelled and destroyed when he was crossing what should have been the no-fire zone at the end of the war. So he has to borrow a harmonium and a tabla from a local school. With the presence of the military and facing an uncertain political future, the musicians of the north of Sri Lanka were ready to share their music with us, but were more reluctant to share their thoughts. My quest to find the boy with the violin continued among this nation torn by civil war.